my father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf cloak. Diamonds wanna go. Hey everyone, it's me, Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. And as the title states, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to play PlayStation Portable slash ISO CSO games on your modded PlayStation Portable in 2019. With that being stated out the way as well, if you don't already have a PlayStation Portable that is already hacked or jailbroken in any shape or form and you're wondering on how to do that, I basically will have a guide for you and that will be in the link in the description down below and also a card right now. So if you want to do this process, you do need a jailbroken PSP console so if you guys want to go ahead and you may have a PSP laying around somewhere in your house and you want to jailbreak it for this process I will have um, a card right here that will showcase on all the things you need to do basically how to get your PSP set up for this tutorial that we're going to be doing today and in that tutorial I do teach you guys on how to install home rule um, emulators and also how to play backup games as well with that being all out the way in terms of you know the prerequisites for the video I do highly recommend to go ahead and check out my social medias so you and i all guys will know like the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel i usually post on um, my videos on twitter mostly when i have a new update or a new content to show you guys so the best way on how to you know be in tune when i drop my stuff is to follow me on twitter with that being out the way as well if you want to be in a mix of things or you just want to join my official community you can go ahead and join that in the video um, in the link in the description down below via my discord not only you can meet new people from the hacking and modding scene as well you can get support for your favorite consoles so if you have any questions on how to set up basically your PSP or you have any questions about this topic or about the switch PS4 PS3 etc etc you can go ahead and ask that via in on um, my discord chat since I have support links as well I do have um ways you could donate to my channel of course it's purely optional but I recently made a patreon so if you do want to support my channel and just help with the overall development even in terms of research it does help me long way to make my channel grow and any donations that I receive will go straight back into my channel so if you do want to become a patron feel free to join via in the link in the description down below and as showcased here I will also have a card on the screen if you want to donate another form if you want to go ahead and support my channel I do accept PayPal and as I stated before any of the money that I may receive will go straight back into the overall development of my channel and will help me things such as buying equipment as like you know um a better microphone uh camera and any of those tools or maybe even a console to showcase on this channel because a lot of um this research and the stuff i do does require you know money to you know produce these videos but with all that fun stuff getting out the way of course with donations social medias we're going to go ahead and get started on the prerequisites for the playstation portable and as my all my other videos all my links will be in a download description down below so of course you need a modded playstation portable doesn't matter if it's a 1000 2000 3000 or psp go if you, as long as your um playstation portable is modded with cfw you can do this process as well um for today's tutorial mines is on 6.61 uh, pro um cfw and i'll be using a 1000 model for this um as well you need any playstation portable game that is in iso or cso format so today's game of course if y'all know me i love kingdom hearts birth by sleep so i'm going to be showcasing on how to install that on your playstation portable you also need a usb cable to connect your device to your pc so basically the usb charging cable that came with your psp or with the one you um use to charge with it and stuff like that or basically the port at the top you need that for this um tutorial as well and of course you need a memory stick duo pro or a micro sd psp adapter whatever um method you use to use as a memory format for your system you basically need that of course to install your games onto your little memory card on your playstation portable with all that fun stuff getting out the way for today i just want to go ahead and give a special thanks out to all of the playstation portable uh, homebrew devs throughout the years for making incredible programs and even allowing us to even have a job working playstation portable don't forget if you need to have um any questions or concerns to join my discord but with um the intro out the way let's go ahead and get started on today's process on the pc All right guys, so first things first, what we need to do is make sure our USB cable is plugged into our PlayStation Portable. And now from here, what we need to do is scroll all the way down to our settings, go into a USB connection, and then hit enter. And now once it's done, we're gonna transfer to our PC. 
Alrighty guys, so we're back onto the PC as showcased here. Here's the game of choice I'll be transferring over today, which is Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and make sure your PSP is connected, of course. But what I'm going to do is go to my file explorer. And if you already did everything correctly and your USB cable is now working, you should see something that is labeled as USB drive. And you should see all of your um, games and PSP contents in here. What we need to do now, if you already haven't already labeled your stuff as ISO or you what basically Basically, you don't have any games already in here what we need to do is create a new folder label it as ISO in all caps and then basically that's where we're going to be putting our games under which is the folder right here I'm going to just delete um this folder right here since it was just you know for explaining it but um here's the ISO folder here and as you see I have all of my PSP titles from here so here's black rock shooter my new for speeds and all of that fun stuff so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to minimize this out and let me just move it to the side here and here's the kingdom hearts birth by sleep game for the psp as i stated before isos and cso's could go in here so all you really gotta do is just um transfer your game of choice so it may take like a minute or so for um it to do its process so i'm going to cut the video right here but that's how simple on how to transfer a psp game onto your modded playstation portable a few moments later Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, here's Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep now successfully um, transferred over to my PlayStation Portable. So what we need to do now for this process is just exit out from here and let's go to our PlayStation Portable to see if our game is now running. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, we're back onto the PSP. So let's go ahead and exit out of USB mode. And as showcased here, let's go to our games column or our memory stick. And now you should see your game of choice. So here's Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep the ISO. And I'm going to go ahead and run it here. I am going to um, disable some audio on this side since I don't want to get copyrighted by Square Enix. Since I know, um, especially for Kingdom Hearts, they'll automatically flag me for this on my YouTube. But as showcased here, um, here is the game running full speed onto my modded PlayStation Portable. And that's how simple it is to basically run on modded PlayStation Portable games. If you guys have any questions or any concerns, please you know let me know in Discord or in the comment section down below. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.